Today, we'll learn how to keep a picky bunch of water birds happy when we learn how to play Simply Fun's Pelican Cove, a game of preferences where the pelicans decide which nest is best. Pelican Cove can be played with one to five players ages eight and up. Pelican Cove is a fast-paced game that helps build pre-algebra thinking and complex decision-making skills, all while meeting the requests of a bunch of demanding pelicans and working against the timer. To set up the game, place the large game board in the middle of the table. Each player should then take a nesting board and one of each of the eight different colored pelican pawns. Next, shuffle the 80 request cards and place them face down, along with the sand timer and the penalty stones, next to the game board. Note that there are five levels of request cards, each increasing in difficulty, one being the easiest, five being the most difficult. When playing for the first time, Players may want to use only level 1 to level 3 request cards to familiarize themselves with basic gameplay. Pelican Cove is played over six rounds, and each round has three phases. The Place Request Cards phase begins the game when the first player draws eight request cards from the deck and puts them face up on the eight spaces of the game board. These spaces correspond to the eight colored pelican pawns held by each player. The cards indicate where each of the pelicans wants to nest. All of the request cards show a gray-colored pawn which represents the color of the pelican in the space on the main board where the card is placed. For example, the gray pawn on this card represents where the blue pelican wants to nest, next to the red pelican in a corner on the player's nest boards. In the placement of the pelican's phase, the starting player flips over the sand timer and all players simultaneously place their pawns on the nests located on their own nesting boards before time runs out. Each player must try to accommodate each pelican's request or the birds will not be happy and the player will take a penalty. In the evaluation and penalties phase, each request card is evaluated from the left side of the game board to the right to see which players were able to complete each pelican's request. The starting player reads where each bird should be and the other players announce whether they were correct or not. If a request was met, it's all good. If the request was not met or a pelican was left off the nesting board, the player must take a green penalty stone. If a player holds five green stones, he may trade them for a blue five-point stone. You do not want the blue stones. Here is an example of the evaluation phase. The black pelican requested to be by the green one, so that request is fulfilled. The orange pelican wanted to be across the board from the white one. The blue pelican wanted to share a corner with the red one. He didn't. The player must take a green penalty stone. The red pelican didn't want to be beside or across from the orange pelican, and since he was placed like this, he got his way. The green pelican wanted to share a corner with the black pelican. Since they're sitting side by side, the request was not fulfilled and the player must take a penalty stone. A round is over after each evaluation phase is complete, and play continues with the next player drawing and placing eight new request cards on the game board. The game ends when a total of six rounds are completed. The player with the fewest penalty stones wins. There are several other ways to play Pelican Cove, including how to play it solitaire and using the flip side of the board when playing with younger and older kids together. Pelican Cove is a fun way to teach kids the complexities of assessing what to do within decision hierarchies. It scales in difficulty, accommodating players of different abilities, and because these pelicans are plastic, you don't have to deal with the noise real pelicans make when they don't get what they want. Mine, mine, mine!